pretty cool. They got the Yaro face with the South African flag, and um, it's cool to see all the support Yaro gets here. Yeah, we are here in Nova Miesto, and uh, it's uh, it's my home race, uh, and uh, I expect uh, a lot of my friends and family, and uh, it will be great atmosphere here. I think a lot of uh, a lot of people wants uh, wants to see gold medalists from from the Olympics. So yeah, I like this course. Uh, I think it's much better than uh, last uh, weekend because it was a uh, crazy, crazy race in Alpstadt. Here in Nova it's uh, not so not so steep climbs and uh, it's really fast uh, course, pretty technical and uh, for our gardens and uh, it will be a very nice race and uh, some pressure is, uh, is on, but we will see on Sunday. It's a great course to ride, really fun and the epic soaks up all the roots out there. So. So it's, it's good to have your lines all dialed in out there and after you get the first few climbs done then that's when people will start getting tired and I think on that very last climb I'll be able to make up a lot of spots. Oh, it's been pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, how he was caught back up in the start a little bit, um, was mid-pack coming through lap one and yeah, he's just been picking them off one lap after the other. You can see he's a, he's a pretty small guy and his power to weight ratio up these short climbs. He always takes a couple of guys and yeah, for the last two laps he's just been moving up. He's now in seventh. Yeah, the start was good today, then at the very last climb I made up a good number of positions and got into the single track just about where I wanted. Uh, the climbs definitely help once you get through a few minutes into there, then guys really start getting tired and you can make up spots pretty easily. This is actually one of my favorite World Cups because two years ago uh, it was my first World Cup top 10. Everything feels good right now, I'm, I'm deciding between Riding the Fate or the Epic, they're both great bikes. Um, the Fate is so light on the climbs, and um, we'll see. I'm gonna do a lap on the Epic and, and see how it goes. Yesterday it was quite empty here, and now I just came to the tent for the number, star number, and I saw the big group of people around. It's great, that's what I was waiting for, that they will support me, and they will cheer me, and they will wait for me. I'm really excited. Current state of affairs, there's an awesome atmosphere here in Novomesta. Czech Republic guys have come out in full force to support their local riders. Uh, Teresa Hurikova, one of them on our team. Um, Leah, good start today. She came through the start loop in about 10th and yeah, after the second lap, slowly started moving up. At the moment, she's in sixth position, a uh, bit of a gap up to fifth and the podium. I rode the Epic out there and that bike was incredible on this course. I mean, it's so bumpy and rooty that I was just sticking to the ground, carrying a lot of speed on the downhills and then actually recovering a little bit on the flats and the uphills when the other girls were getting bounced around right where I want to be. So yeah, I love this course. The fans were the best out there. I mean, it was just a roar the entire time. So this place rules. <laughs> So I was really excited to to race in front of all the uh, fans, Czech fans. They were awesome in every climb, every technical section I really enjoyed. So in three weeks uh, there will be another World Cup, so I'm excited to work hard and be in shape. This weekend, yeah, I want to race and uh, make a result. It's very important. Climb is uh, go fast. And down here it's not a go kamikaze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, third lap in. Um, Yaroslav had a great start, obviously home crowd support would cheer on in any form. Um, unfortunately, yeah, one of the other teams let us know he had a pretty big crash in the Rubina Rock Garden. Um, he was down on the ground for a while, um, back up riding, crowd is pushing him on. We'll see if he fights on to the end. Um, he's lost quite a few positions, um, but yeah, for the moment Koei is still flying the flag up there. Yeah, Kohei, uh, awesome start again, and uh, he was much more careful in the downhills this time. Great start, he's an awesome starter, find himself uh, top 15, 
but then by the end of the race he was getting a little bit tired. And the final laps, uh, yeah, to try keep going, but uh, I don't have uh, power. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, thank you. It was very dangerous because my hand was really bad uh, at the downhills, and uh, I went just uh, for for my fans and uh, spectators. So I hope uh, my body will be will be okay for for other training, for the marathon awards and the uh, cross country awards and other World Cups. I never really got going. I thought I might get going on the second or third lap, but um, there are bad days and there are good days. This happened to be a bad day, but there'll be more good days. So look to the future. Yeah, Jaroslav, he was unlucky. I mean, he came into the rock section uh, and in the second, third lap and he unclipped right on the top and couldn't get back in. Went over the bike, bike fell down, he fell down, hurt his knee, his shoulder. Bit bad luck for him, for sure. He was definitely wanting more. That is racing, stuff like that can happen. No podium, but uh, yeah, there's many more to come and uh, I'm sure we will be back on the podium soon.